Hi, it's Trisha with Trans West Trailers, and today we're going to go over tips for buying a horse trailer. Now, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet for you, and if you need more in-depth information, just be sure to email me or give me a call. I'd be happy to help and answer any questions you have. So, we'll just start at the front, and we're going to work our way back. First thing you need to consider is how the neck attaches to the trailer. Now, it sounds simple, but it could get real in-depth. On these Cimarron trailers, you actually have boomerang reinforcement, actually plate steel, and attaches uh, with huck bolts here. And you have to really look at something like this because this is the integral part of your trailer. I mean, this, this, is, gonna, this is what's gonna make it attach to the trailer itself. A lot of them, they just have those huck bolts on there. Really like that boomerang reinforcement. Another thing when you're looking, looking at your trailers is looking at the outside just general maintenance and safety. Um, maintenance wise, this one's actually attached uh, with 3HV tape, uh, industrial strength adhesive. Great feature, it's all tongue and groove. Even on your extrusion here, a lot of these trailers, you know, they'll look the same from the outside, but they're truly not. Your extruded uh, aluminum here, again, is all tongue and groove construction. It's not just one sheet piece aluminum that's die cast, pressed on there and then boom, it looks like it's a strong structural feature when it's actually not. So look at little things like that. I want you to really look at the quality of the welds and the craftsmanship of the trailer itself. I mean, if you look at these real nice TIG welds here, just the cleanliness of this, you know, uh, so many of these trailers, things get overlooked. And to me, if you can't see the nice fit finish on the outside, imagine what's on the inside that you can't see. Another thing to consider when you're purchasing a trailer is going to be the roof of the trailer. Uh, are they using straight sheet aluminum? Are they using a panel roof? Find that out and really have to consider what's important for both you and your horse. Um, you know, if you do a lot of traveling in the summer, I love the fact that this has a fully insulated roof. It's actually half inch thick, honeycomb fiberglass reinforced. It's dent proof, hail proof, has an R3 thermal value. Your aluminum sheet roofs, they're going to obviously conduct heat. They are a heat conductor, um, so it's going to be a little bit more uncomfortable for your horse in there. You want to look at the floor of the trailer. You're going to look at what kind of centers that trailer has. Does it have 12 inch centers? Does it have 18 inch centers? Um, are they using a wood floor? Are they using a synthetic rumber floor? Are they using all aluminum? If so, you're going to want to ask those tough questions. What kind of alloy is being used? How is that floor actually put together? Cimarron's, I absolutely love. Four inch centers on the floor. It's all tongue and groove construction. They actually interlock on both top and bottom. Uh, I think it's a 6005 alloy. And I'm getting off on tangents. I'll, I'll draw her back in. I'll try to stop. Sorry. Um, some other things, you know, even looking at windows sounds real simple. This one's got two drop windows on the hip so you can really get that air circulation. One thing I always show my customers when they come to visit me and we're talking trailers, take these windows when you're shopping, try to tweak on them. You'd be amazed if you do that at how many trailers you could actually rip the window off of. I always, I always say if I can break it, I guarantee my horse can. So you're going to look at small features like that. Um, you know, just heft, fit, finish, how it slams in there, nice car door fit. Um, you'll notice on these particular trailers, we've got welded on hinges and it's got grease certs on your hinges. Another great feature, a small feature, but something to definitely look at. You're going to want to look at uh, the back doors of these trailers and how they're put on. Are they, are they just uh, bolted on or are they welded on? With these, I love a welded on door. That's my preference. Uh, another thing you're going to look at is going to be the running gear of the trailer. What kind of axles are they using? Is it the proper uh, proportion for the weight that you're going to be carrying? Also look at the tires. Um, you know, what kind of ply? What kind of rating are, are on the tires, you know, especially on your big living quarter trailers. Unfortunately, a lot of companies will under axle or will under tire a trailer. And that's your main reason for blowouts and having trouble on the road. So be sure that you've done your research and that you're going to be fine there. So now we're just going to go around to the back end of the trailer and then go over some of the other features, including stall safety. So we're in the stall of the trailer. 
when you're in here, one thing I want you to do, you'll probably laugh at me, go back and kind of jump up and down. Feel, feel the, the difference in how the trailers respond to you. You'll get a lot of rattling, a lot of noise. That's something little, but I've noticed it works. On your dividers, clean, smooth, nice edges. Thick, heavy-duty dividers. Something that can actually protect your horse, keep him contained. You get those little chintzy bar dividers in there, and to me that is a true accident just waiting to happen. Clean, smooth, recessed slam latch dividers. That's just nice for, you know, it's not something that's going to catch on your horse while you're loading them. Something little to look at. Look at, again, on the dividers. This one's got jail bars, you know, gives that extra air circulation and ventilation going through there. Small feature, but things to consider. You really need to shop for your horse. Obviously, he can't do his own shopping, and if he told you what he wanted, you'd probably be surprised at what the answer was. Um, so that's going to be it for the stall safety. I do have an intense video on stall safety if you want to get into that. So be sure to check out my other videos. We appreciate your time very much. If you have any questions, and again, be sure to give me a call. It's Trish with TransWest. Hope you have a great day and thanks.